Hi, I'm Cameron with MB Stone Care, and this is the Granite Reconditioning Kit. This kit is designed to remove smudges, built up food product, and just recover normal wear and tear from years of use. The contents of this kit include the MB5 stone cleaner, uh, daily spray cleaner, Easy Scrub, Finito Ultimate Polish, MB24 Barrier, Impregnating Sealer, and some MB20 Granite Polish. It includes a couple of sprayers, hog's hair pads, white pads, and the uh, microfiber pads for the Finito at the end. I'm going to start out by giving the countertop a deep clean with the uh, easy scrub. This is going to get off uh, embedded soiling, dirt, grease, oil, stuff like that, that normal cleaning, spray cleaning and wiping won't get off. Uh, then we're going to wipe it down with the MB5 to get it ready to polish. And then we're going to restore the shine with the MB20. Um, and then at the end, we're going to spray it down with some Finito and buff it out with the microfiber pads. And that'll be done. On some countertops, uh, sealer will be recommended. Today we're working on Rainforest Green. It's very dense serpentine, um, often mistaken as a marble, but contains no calcite. So that's why we're going to use the MB20 granite polish, because it works better than traditional marble polishing compounds. So, uh, but because it is very dense, we're not going to be needing the sealer today. So we're going to leave this out of that for the day. So we're going to go through the motions of uh, doing the, the scrub, the deep clean. There's some, some oil and grease, a couple pieces of food and stuff stuck on the countertop from normal use, wear and tear. The countertop's about two years old. It's in very good condition, but we're just going to give it a little touch up. All right, um, here we have our tape and drape from Easy Mask. We have the 24 inch, 48 inch, and the blue tape. So once you... Uh, Apply this one. This is going to unravel to become 48 inches tall. That's a very light adhesion. And so if you're masking off the countertop, And then sometimes this tape, it's very, very light tack. It's good for delicate surfaces. But if you use the blue tape to go over the top, it'll stay longer throughout the duration of your job. Once you're done with that, you gently reach under and grab the edge of it. Static will help it cling to the countertops and the cabinets and you don't have to put any adhesive on the actual painted cabinets and stuff. So, and this one unravels to be 24 inches. We have these in stock at mbstonepro.com. You can find them on the link below. All right, this is the easy scrub. This is the first part of the granite reconditioning kit. Right before we do this, you want to take your hand and feel for any stuff that's stuck to the countertop, like a little bit of food. Occasionally against the backsplash, you can find little remnants of glue and epoxy from the installation that's not out in a obvious area. So <clears throat> just scrape some of that stuff off with a razor blade off to the side. And then now we're going to use the scrub. So the easy scrub is going to remove any of the grease and oils, smears, smudges, embedded dirt, and stuff like that.
Make sure the seal is removed. Give it a little shake. We're gonna do this in sections. So just put a little bit out on the counter. Use a white pad, white polishing pad. It's non abrasive. I'm going to use a five inch because the seven inch is going to splatter more. This will be easier to contain our area and not make as much of a mess. Make sure your polishers turn down to the lowest speed. The Easy Scrub has very, very fine micro abrasives in it that are very sharp, razor sharp, but they immediately crush and dissolve under any pressure. All you need is very, very light pressure and just two or three passes. <clears throat> the Easy Scrub can also be used on shower glass, metal, other stone and hard surfaces, and uh, a lot of different hard materials where there's accumulation and buildup. Working in grids like this can help you keep track of your work <clears throat> so you don't get lost in the big areas. You can control your work pattern better and keep an eye on the results as it's happening. Do the initial wipe down to remove the excess product with a terry cloth towel. So now we're going to take the MB5. The MB5 is a daily cleaner. It's just a very simple neutral stone cleaner that can be used on marble, granite, and any type of natural or engineered stone for daily cleaning or just light cleanup. We're going to do another wipe down with the MB5 to get rid of the excess product. Now we're going to repolish the surface and bring it back to its original luster with the MB20 granite polishing paste. Uh, this is designed for granite and quartzite materials, but it also works on serpentine like this rainforest green. So we're going to place a little bit over here. I'm going to start in the area closest to me so I can do a small section and just verify that I'm getting the results that I want before I move on to the full area. No water needed. We're just going to put a couple of dollops on the surface, smear a little bit around, and we're going to do one to two square feet at a time. Start with low speed, firm pressure on the machine, and if you want, you can slowly increase the speed as the product dries up, but you want to work it wet to dry. Some stones will require multiple applications. If this is one of those materials, some granites require more passes to bring them up. Uh, what you can do in order to avoid putting too much product on the surface and getting any residual buildup is you could use water the product that's stuck in the pad is still functional so instead of putting more and more product on the surface you would just spritz a little bit of water and then repeat the same process using the product that's stuck in the pad We have Easy Oxy and MB5. Either one is fine to clean. You can use one, you can use the other one. 
both at the same time. I'm just gonna clean this up and verify that I am getting the results that I want. Actually, the homeowner's standing off to the side and make sure she's getting the results that she wants. Once we dial in the process, then we don't have to keep such a close eye on it as we go. We can repeat the steps across the whole counter and finish it off. So as you can see here, this one to two square foot section that we did here is a significant increase in gloss and uh, color and just overall cleanliness. There's no more oil or smears or anything. It's nice and polished. And this is what we're looking for on the rest of it. So now that we got the polish all done, just wanna make sure, look in the light, any residual smears or residue that they buff off with your finger. Uh, when you work in small sections like that and you alternate between product and just water, uh, each time you polish product, water, product, water, it'll prevent uh, the surface from getting too much accumulation. So now we're gonna take either the MB5 or the Easy Oxy or any of the countertop cleaners that we offer at MB and you're just gonna clean it, wipe it down, make sure you come over the edge and wipe off the plastic as well. When we do the final buff, you don't want the pad pulling up any slurry or debris from the edges. We have one more step, but before we do that, we wanna make sure that this is 100% We got a little spot here. Sometimes you'll get little spots that won't even show up in the camera, but all we're gonna do is just take the product that's still stuck in the pad, just missed a little bit of water, just to break up any residue. All gone. So now here's the test. Now that it's all polished and clean, super smooth. All right, so last step, we're gonna take our eight inch microfiber pad with the Finito. This is a temporary silicone spray. It's gonna give the countertop a little bit extra, a little bit extra gloss, some extra smoothness, and it'll act as a temporary repellent for food and drinks and stuff like that. It'll last about a week to two weeks under normal wear and tear. If you have kids, it's an absolute must. Just missed a little bit on the countertop. I'm gonna split this one up in half, slow speed.
and just buff it in until it's gone. All right, huge difference. Now for the ultimate test. There you go. <laughs> That's the granite reconditioning kit. If it is a porous material that should be sealed, it should be done after the MB20 polishing stage before the ultimate spray polish. So if you'd like to purchase this kit, you can find it at the link below on mbstonepro.com. Uh, you can purchase additional pads and accessories and other cleaners and products uh, as well on the website.